Hi everyone. I hope you will enjoy this class. We're going to do a little warm up and a bunch of exercises and then I have a little homework or a little challenge for you at the end. So let's start with a warm up. Uh, let's just make sure that we have a safe space to dance. So get your parent to help you move things. Come on. Go. and then pick up any toys that you may have perfect and then you can wear whatever you want to dance I see that Natalie and Chloe are wearing a skirt so pretty and I see that Duncan and Miles and Lily are all wearing leggings like Abby here and then on your feet you can either have bare feet or you can wear socks whatever you feel comfortable with Stay right here Maybe a little bit behind me. Excellent. Just a little bit right there. Good. We're going to start with breathing. Breathe in, reach up. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And this time, breathe in and reach up as high as you can. So high, you actually touch the clouds, and because it's spring, the rain starts to fall. Little raindrops fall, and they fall on your arm. And the raindrops fall on your head, and down your tummy. Little raindrops all the way down your legs, onto your feet, and raindrops on the back of your legs, raindrops on your back. Raindrops on your face. Good. And get one big reach out. And then we're going to curl up really small, like we're inside an egg. Can you make yourself really tiny? And just your head comes out of the egg. And you can turn your head side and side. 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 Good. And then your head can go up and down. Up. make our feet nice and strong. Let's turn sideways so they can see our feet a bit better. And we're going to do ball of the foot, really bending your foot, and then push to point your toe. Not too high, not too high, that's it. And then ball, 
and then flat. But we're gonna do it two times with the same foot. No, do two times with this foot. So one point, ball, flat, two point, ball, flat. Then the other foot, ball, point, ball, squeeze, ball, point, ball, squeeze. And then we'll do it again. Then we're going to do the same thing, but by pointing our toe. And we're gonna point the ball of our foot, then the tip of our toe, then the ball of our foot, and come back. Two times with the right foot, and then two times with the left foot. Ball, point, ball, flat, ball, point, ball, flat. Then we're going to turn our feet out in first, and we'll do the same thing sideways. Ball, point, ball, flat, two of them with this leg, and then two of them with that leg. So let's get ready and we'll do that with the music. Two with this foot, ball, point, same foot, same foot. Now the other foot. Good, now let's try it forward with this leg. Side. So open your toes, hands on your waist, tall back, and ball, point, ball, close. Same foot, ball, point, ball, tall back, ball, point, ball, close, ball, point. Very good. Toes together now. Let's rise up. Now it's time to do some jumps. So when we do our jumps, when we land every jump, we need to land on the ball of our foot and squeeze down, yeah, nice and soft. That's not just so that we have quiet feet, so we have really strong feet, and then it keeps our knees and our ankles nice and safe so we don't get hurt. Especially if you have a hard floor, you gotta be a little careful. Here, move back just a little bit so we don't bump. So we'll do four times. Bend and bend, big jump. We'll do that four times facing the front. Then we're gonna just do jumps. And we do four jumps facing each wall. So four jumps facing the side. Four jumps facing the back. Four jumps facing the side. Four jumps facing the front. Then we're gonna rest on one leg and switch and switch. And switch and then we'll do four jumps to each wall and then we'll be done. Are you ready for it? Yeah. All right, feet together, hands on your waist, keep your fingers right near your belly button so that you don't have broken wings at the back. Good. some small movements that are very near, very close 
to where we are. So you can move your arms, you can move your legs, but you're staying very close to yourself. When the music's quiet, I want you to do all sorts of movements, staying very small. When the music's loud, I want you to do reaching movements that really reach, and they reach, they reach everywhere, they reach high and low, and then if I make the music quiet, we go back to our little tiny movements. So let's start tiny. Can you make a nice tiny shape for me, Abby? You can be twisted or you can be round, and we'll start with tiny movements. Now that we're all warmed up, I have a little bit of a homework assignment or a little challenge to you. I would like you to do a dance that has some small movements and some reaching movements. And I want you to think about spring. So you could do a dance that is about rain. What else happens in spring, Abby? Um, Easter? Yeah, Easter or Earth. eggs and eggs hatch, baby bunnies. It gets warmer, oh, flowers grow and trees grow. So you can do anything you would like and you can just do it at home or you can videotape it and send it to your dance teacher. I bet your dance teacher would love to watch it. And if you kinda, you don't really want me to see who you are, bonus marks, if you had a costume, you could dance with a mask. I guess this would be a bird dance. You can be very fashionable, like Abby here. <laughs> that way I can see your dance, but I won't really know who you are. So bonus marks for a costume. I hope to see your dances. I hope you keep dancing, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. All right, one more dance for today. We're gonna dance a little story about a baby bird that hatches out of the egg. When it first hatches, it might be a little bit scared because everything is kind of new. So let's see what happens to our baby bird. So inside your egg, really small. And slowly use your beak to peck and get your head out of the egg. And can you wiggle one wing out of the egg? And wiggle the other wing out. Oh, get those legs out. Good. Brush off all those little pieces of eggshell. 
inhale. And little baby birds, you should open their mouth really wide. But wait, what's in this nest? Can we wiggle around just inside our nest? Stay very small. Oh. What's over the edge of our nest? Can you go up on your tippy toes and look over the edge? And down. Look over the edge of the nest. And look. Oh my goodness, we're so high up. The little bird is a little scared. Can you shiver like you're kind of scared? We're so high up and we're such small birds. But then the bird gets a little bit brave and it's gonna walk along the branch. Can you walk along the branch? Very careful, don't wanna fall. Whoa. Don't fall off the branch. Oh, look at all the big birds that are flying around. But the little bird's too scared. It goes back into the nest. Oh, that looks really scary. But the mummy and daddy bird come and they tell the little bird, you are big enough to fly now. Just make those wings a little stronger. Let's get those wings nice and strong. And mummy and daddy say it's safe to fly. Are you ready? Let's jump and fly around. And the bird is scared. But the bird has courage, so the bird does it anyways. Are you ready? Yeah. And fly. And the bird does it. It flies all over the room. Good flying, birds. And then when the bird's hungry, it flies off to go get a yummy snack. 